What's going on everybody, it's your boy Big Mike and I am back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out this video by Penguin Z Zero. It is titled Worst Flirting I Have Ever Seen. If you guys want to watch the original video, link is in the description down below. And with that being said, let's get this video going. Alright, let's see what type of flirting we got going on today. Flirting with someone can oftentimes be challenging, and occasionally the only winning move is not to play. Flirting with someone is actually really challenging. Uh, number one, just because of the generation that we live in, um, a lot of men essentially only flirt with women to get in their pants. Um, yeah, it's this generation of dating has just been wild sometimes it's best just to spam emotes and see how that goes and today i want to take you on a journey it's a two-part epic like homer's odyssey but if homer had written about a weirdo who's desperately trying to make a woman fall in love with him by calling her autistic now the backstory i would say quagmire from family guy is the exact same way but i uh let's Let's just get in the video. I just wanted to say here, that. I'll go ahead and give you the cliff notes of the prequel. This gentle sir protagonist has just joined a new friend group and has found particular interest in this woman. And he reaches out to her trying to like talk to her saying, I'll be honest with you, I don't understand you. And then he just goes on to say that she's quiet and he doesn't know anything about her other than she likes potatoes in the town of Salem. And that he just laments that he just doesn't know anything about her and she doesn't make I read the bottom part of this conversation where he says, I know the least about you. You never go out of your way to make a conversation with me. You don't even make eye contact. Bro, that is clearly showing that she has no interest in you. And she probably never will based off of the fact that what she said right above that was well i don't know i don't have much to say i guess i feel like she doesn't have much to say if it's with a guy like this a guy that she has no interest in i don't know but let's continue on and see what happens make eye contact with him she asks, does that bother you and he says no which is a big fib right there that that's a huge lie that is a really big lie. Lying is a sin, and now he's condemned straight to hell. This clearly bothers him because he melts down. I just noticed he says no, and then right after that, he says, I mean, somewhat, yeah. Which is it, bro? Is it no, or is it yes? Which one? About it. He also doesn't keep that trade up for long. He immediately folds and says, I mean, somewhat, yeah. <laughs> It actually hurts a lot. It keeps me up at night. I actually can't sleep. I'm crying all the time because of it. But it's a normal human response, so you can't blame me. Too late. I'm already blaming you. Can I ask a blunt question? She says, sure. And he says, are you autistic? Man, the Riz Lord has... How... Do you go from... All of what has already been said to ask... What, what is, like, hypothetically speaking, okay, let's say that she is autistic. What does that have to even do with anything? Did he just pull this question out of his ass like I'm so fucking confused now? Has struck like a lightning bolt here. If those panties aren't sodden after that blunt question, I just don't know what works anymore. She says, no, are you? And he goes, lol, no. So what do you think about me? She says, in what way? He seems to get kind of offended by that, so he snaps. You're asking her what she thinks about you after you just got done asking her if she is autistic. She probably thinks... In general, overall, that you're just a piece of shit. That's probably That's like a what's happening adjusting here. His fedora. It's a simple question. What do you think about me, madame? It's actually 
quite elementary, honestly. What do you think about me as a lover? She pulls no punches and just goes, I don't really think of you, so I'm not sure how to answer that. <laughs> that was quite the fucking biblical sm That was a really good thing. Like, uh, once again, this guy, as you can see by the conversation on the screen, this guy is trying way too hard. She's already made the point. I don't really think of you, so I'm not sure how to answer that. What else is there to say after that? Just leave the conversation. Don't come back and try to talk to this woman. It's that simple. Smackdown right there. And he says, Jesus. Okay, I'll try something else. Why? Why? At that point, you should just be like, yep, that didn't work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do something else. I'm gonna go solo queue in League of Legends and wash away my troubles. <laughs> like, I don't know why he's gonna try something else. But he goes, why do you never laugh at my jokes? Not that I'm trying to make you in particular laugh. Why is it so hard to make conversation with you? Bro, it's hard to make a conversation with her because she is not fucking interested in you. She's already proven it in these messages. I'm sure IRL, she's already proven that to you. So, uh, like, I, I don't understand what it is you're trying to do. Are you trying to force her to realize, like, you're the best guy she's ever seen, whatever? Maybe she's single and she doesn't even want to be in a relationship. How do you, ha have you thought about that? It's like I'm reading text messages from Timmy Turner to Trixie. Like, what do you mean? Why do you never laugh at my jokes? I, I have to, I wonder what the dynamic of the friend group is like with this guy in there. Does he try to be like the, the class clown or something? So, for context, That's what it she is 23 like. years old, he is 24 years old, and I imagine the rest of the friend group is in that early 20s ballpark. So these aren't children, these are adults. And he's like, why do you never laugh at my jokes? I told you to pull my finger and I tooted. And you didn't even giggle. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? This is side-splitting comedy. Come on. Why is it so hard to make conversation with you? Are you autistic? He just texts. I'm never going to understand the, the reason behind that question. Like, I don't know if he was asking her if she was autistic. I can't even come up with the reason why he would even ask that question so juvenile what do you think about me do you like me circle yes or no or you're autistic and then he like runs away she responds saying i'm more of a listener don't take it personal i'm just shy i guess and then he immediately takes it personal there's gotta be a reason i'm better looking and more successful than 90 percent of the men you know so uh bro okay I'm better looking and more successful than 90% of the men. Uh, I assume you know is right under that, like Charlie said. Um, the problem that I have with that is specifically, I don't know about the better looking, uh, but more successful than 90% of men. I don't agree with that because you clearly are not being successful in this conversation that you are having right now and based off I, I I can't really like look at a person based off of their messages and say this man has never been successful in his life when it comes to getting in a relationship or whatever I I assume that's what he's trying to do there here it doesn't seem like he's trying to sleep with her like a one night stand or whatever but based off of this conversation right here, I don't think he's that successful. That's just my opinion. What's your type? I want to get to know you. He's desperate. He's on his knees right now, shaking his hands. I must know. There's got to be a reason. And she says, my type is a man who doesn't ask me if I'm autistic. See, there it is. My type is a man who doesn't ask me if I'm autistic. Yeah. Uh... Can you blame me for assuming that? Don't get me wrong, you're pretty, but I definitely considered the possibility you're autistic. They're definitely on the spectrum somewhere. Why? Like, once again, he is still not coming out with the fact that he literally asked her if she was autistic. And then you say, I definitely considered the possibility you're autistic. 
Why? You still have not explained the reason why you you asked her if she was autistic, and then right here, you did not explain at all when you said, I definitely considered the possibility you're autistic. I don't fucking understand. And I'm not even the one that's supposed to be understanding it. The, the lady in here is the one. I mean, that's pretty picky. Come on. I, well, you're looking for a unicorn here. Uh, all good men accuse the women they're trying to win over of being autistic at some point. It's standard protocol. This guy's just following the textbook formula. He then says, can you blame me for assuming that? What the fuck? Yes, absolutely. That's a crazy thing to assume about someone, especially considering his whole purpose of the conversation was trying to get exactly. laid. Like, he's romantically interested in this person, and his way of spitting game is to ask if they're autistic. That's such a weird thing to do. And then he goes, don't get me wrong, you're pretty, but I definitely considered the possibility you're autistic or definitely on the spectrum somewhere. One of the number one signs of autism is not laughing at this guy's jokes. So he was just, he was, he looked it up on WebMD and he was just, for her own sake, like concerned for her well being. He's actually looking out for her. She says, lol, what? Reflect on your words when you go to bed tonight. See ya. Just trying to end this conversation because it's, it's going downhill so quick. This is an avalanche of dog shit. And he just goes, wow, wow. Owen Wilson's there for a moment and then just says, I think you're jealous. I spent the night with redacted and redacted and you went home alone. This is classic. This is and What exactly does he mean by that? Like, is he trying to imply that she doesn't have any friends? Is he trying to imply that he had a threesome with whoever they know? I, I don't understand what he's trying to imply here. Classic. When everything goes tits up, it's like, oh, you're actually just super jealous of me. Because I'm slamming ham on the regular. I'm fucking your friends. I am having sex with women that want me. Because it's impossible for a woman not to want me. You just must be autistic. That's what's going on here. And you're jealous now. That's, that's, you're the problem, not me. And you're lucky that I even gave you the time of day. Your loss. He then clears the air here, making sure that it doesn't trouble her mind that Casanova has spoken for. Why would she... I read that bottom part. Don't worry, nothing happened. We just watched Netflix in bed. No need to be jealous. Why would she be jealous? She... Like... She's already proven way before, like, these last four messages that you sent that she has no interest in you. She doesn't want to date you. She doesn't want to fuck you. She doesn't want to do anything with you. She's proven it throughout the entirety of this conversation. And now you want to say no need to be jealous. Bro, if you fucked two, two girls, obviously those two girls either... They, I mean, they could possibly want to date you. They could want to make friends or be with you. They, they hooked up with you. Why not go after one of them? Instead of doing this, it doesn't make any sense to me. And he also doesn't want any rumors to spread in the friend group, so he clarifies, <laughs> Don't worry, nothing happened. We just watched Netflix in bed. No need to be jealous. And then drop this emoji. I have a hunch she really wasn't jealous. Just a guess. Exactly. She doesn't seem interested. And exactly. I think you have ensured that she will never be interested exactly. by trying to like diagnose her with autism through text message flirting. Now the next day she made a follow up post because he had an even bigger like psychotic break here. So that was all part one. Part two, he comes back bigger and badder than ever here. The sequel went insano style. So he texts her saying, what's your problem? Is this some sort of trauma response? Crying laughing emoji, which I don't think there was any laughing, just crying behind the <laughs> behind the phone on this one. I agree with Charlie on that. I just don't think the dude wanted to use the actual crying emoji. I just don't get it, blank, using her name. I've known you since March 12th, and for whatever God knows what reason, you decide to treat me like complete shit. Did you just not essentially compl uh, 
treat her like complete shit when she proved to you that she had no interest in you, and then you turned around and was like, are you autistic? Is that not treating someone like shit? Is that not being an asshole? But her wanting nothing to do with you is her treating you like complete shit. Once again, this generation of dating is wild. <laughs> you hug Redacted and Redacted, but not me. You share a couch with Redacted, but when I join, you get up and leave. How many times are Charlie and I and probably everybody else that watches this video are going to say that she has no interest in you? Zero. You might as well just stop. You're not getting anywhere. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? Or blind? Or what? The fuck did I ever do to you? I'm pissed off because you're clueless and extremely oblivious to the point you don't appreciate a good thing when it's directly in your face. You're not a good thing, bro. You asked her if she was autistic after she had no interest in you, and even before you asked that question, she proved it. Bro, you are not a good man you are not a good person you are not worth dating and based off of the fact a couple messages ago when you said that you what did he say let i want to like be accurate on this and then i will he says i think you're jealous i spent the night with blank and blank and you went home alone so, once again, you either slept with these people, which I'm going to assume that you did. It seems like, to me, you're only good for hooking up with women that you know, or maybe even random women in general. I don't understand this. Hey, she made a follow-up post because he had an even bigger crying <laughs> laughing emoji, which I... Or what? The fuck did I ever do to you? I'm pissed off because you're clueless and extremely oblivious to the point you don't appreciate a good thing when it's directly in your face. What the hell is even that, brother? A good thing when it's directly in your face? The only thing that's directly in her face is your accusations that she might be autistic. Like, what yep. are you talking about? You're LARPing as her, like, doctor and nothing else. Even just setting aside the baffling autism accusations, there's no even semblance of romance behind his yep. texts. They're just aggressive. Yeah. Like, and nothing beyond that. They're just yep. weird. So I don't know why he's thinking that he's doing such a good job with the game that she should be enamored with him. I'm always going to go back to um, him saying that he's more successful than 90% of men. Because this right here, so we've already got, we've already gone through the fact that he's a piece of shit for asking her if she's autistic. He's an asshole. And now he's just straight up delusional. I don't get it. But then he just goes, I just period, don't period, get period, it, period. Goes full blown rock bottom. I just don't get it. <laughs> Help me understand her name. He keeps repeating her name. So he just keeps saying it over and over again. Just saying her name in these texts. And she just says, lol, what? She says, are you fighting yourself right now? Am I involved in this argument? Man, she is just absolutely slapping this guy. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I mean, this guy's just fighting his inner demons here. This man's battling ghosts in the paranormal dimension. He says, this is all about you. Her name. Stop acting so obtuse. You may not be autistic, but you sure act like you're into trains or some shit. Was that supposed to be offensive? Like, was that supposed to anger her or something? Like... You may not be autistic, but you sure act like you're into trains or some shit. I'm even more confused now. I'm still confused at why you asked her if she was autistic, number one. But now, number two, are you just assuming that 
a hundred percent of people that have autism are into trains. Like I, I don't understand the comment. Oh, I, I don't know what is going on in his fucking frontal lobe here. It's, it just gets worse and worse. She says, LMAO, why do you keep saying my name? Trains are cool. Is there some unresolved childhood trauma I need to know about? Because what the fuck is your problem? I can help you out if that's the case. But you... Okay, so let's break this down really quick, alright? She's already basically proven without stating the fact that she has no interest in you. She doesn't want to talk to you. She doesn't want to date you. She sure as hell doesn't want to fuck you. Why would she tell... If, if she has already proven throughout this whole thing that she doesn't want to talk to you, she doesn't want anything to do with you, hypothetically speaking, if she had an unresolved childhood trauma problem, why would she tell you? You don't need to know about it to even begin with. And then after being a piece of shit and an asshole, after asking her if she is autistic, and then just assuming that 100% of autistic people are in the trains or some shit, why would you even offer to help her out? I, I don't get it. You have to let me take the first step and stop being so guarded all the damn time. It's impossible to get through to you. It's impossible to get through to her because... Again, for the hundredth time now, she doesn't want to talk to you. She has no interest in conversating with you. I, I don't I don't understand. Men do not stop when it comes to either trying to date women, trying to sleep with women, whatever the fact. When me and my fiancé, when we first met, I... I literally, like, I DM'd her. She DM'd me back. I didn't try to get in her pants right off the bat. I didn't ask her if she wanted to date me right off the bat. You know, it was a couple weeks of us just conversating with each other, getting to know each other, whatever. And my fiancé was interested in doing that. But had she been like, yeah, I'm not really interested in conversating with someone I don't really know that much, I would have left it alone. But that is the problem with dating in this generation. Men do not how, know how to leave women the fuck alone when the woman that they are talking to says, I'm just not interested in you. Sometimes they'll be your friends, sometimes they won't. This woman... Does not want to be your friend, my guy. Just leave her the fuck alone. Why would you be asking about these things? If there's some childhood trauma, I need to know about it. Also, let's just go ahead and assume she's like, you know what, there is some childhood trauma. And then she like, spills her guts to him. This would be like the worst person to confide anything in. Exactly. This is a guy who is already having a conniption because she doesn't laugh at his jokes and doesn't make eye contact enough with him. Like, I highly doubt he would be a good confidant for anything heavy. This guy would immediately be like, Ugh, well, childhood trauma, that's another symptom of autism. I, it's, it's ridiculous. You're, you're lucky you have me around, honestly. Says her name again, which is so creepy. He just keeps throwing her name into every message he sends as if it's some kind of, like, dramatic moment in a tel television series. Please... I know you hear it all the time, but you're very pretty. I like you when you're not acting like an autistic, frigid bitch. Respectfully. There is no way in hell that you can ever say that and then say respectively out at, at the end. Like, just reading this... How can you respectfully tell someone that they're acting like an autistic, frigid bitch? Homie, you are the one that is acting just straight up like a bitch. I'm not one to, you know, assume that people are autistic or call them autistic and add whatever at the end of that. Bro, you're just a bitch. I, 
I don't understand. And now I want to like look at it. March 12th, and I haven't proven myself enough to you yet. Didn't he just say a couple of text messages ago that he's known her since March 12th? Like, was that the day that you started to try and pr prove yourself to her? Like, w what did you expect? You hadn't even known this woman for a full day. And you're already trying to prove yourself to her. I don't get it. Autistic, frigid bitch. Respectfully. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that silver tongue's coming out in full effect right now. He's becoming irresistible. March 12th, and I haven't proven myself enough to you yet. Real quick, March 12th is not that long. It's not like you've fucking known her your whole life or anything. Like, what are you expecting to do in this span of time to make her fall in love with you? What exactly? Like, what do you, mean you haven't proven yourself enough to her yet. What are you trying to do, like backflips and shit? Do you, do you just keep trying? The only thing that you have proven enough to her is that you are a bitch ass piece of shit. That's the only thing that you've proven to her, to Charlie, to me, everyone that watched, you know. His video on this, everybody that is probably watching my video, you're just a bitch-ass piece of shit, and you've proven that to her, specifically. I don't understand what you mean by, I haven't proven myself to you yet. There's nothing good about you. Just stop. Trying to tell, like, the worst jokes imaginable, hoping to get some kind of pity giggle out of her? Like, I... It's, it's so incomprehensible. He thinks that it's been such a long time. You've been single all this time. Ages. Ages. Almost two months you've been single. Like, it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't compute. It's extremely suspicious, actually. Why would a girl like you be single? What are you hiding? What is that supposed to even mean? Why would a girl like you be single? What are you hiding? Bro, she's not hiding anything, alright? Why would a girl like you be single? Why do you give a shit still? She's already proven she doesn't want to be with you. I wouldn't be surprised if he said, Why would a girl like you be single? And then out of nowhere, she just starts dating somebody that is not this guy. Like a couple days later, maybe even a couple weeks. Like she's already proven she doesn't want to be with you. And then he asks, what are you hiding? Um, obviously, throughout all of her responses in this whole thing, she's not hiding anything. She's basically shown you the light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel that clearly says, I have no interest in you. I don't understand what you want, in all honesty, lol. First step of what? Referring to his previous message where he asked her to, or when he said that he wants to take the first step, but she needs to let him. She teases him with some sarcasm here. LMAO, okay, I'm hiding so much, dude. First step of our potential. He's already envisioned five different universes where you two are madly in love. And the potential is, it's incalculable. I can make your life ten times better than it is now. I'm so sure of that, I'd give that to you in writing. I can make your life ten times better than it is now. So you're going to flip this and say, I can make your life ten times better than it is now. But you asked her if she was autistic. Then you assumed that she was autistic. And then you assumed, I'm guessing, 100% of autistic People are into trains or some shit, but now you want to be like, oh, well, I can I can make your life ten times better than it is now. Uh, I, <sighs> oh fuck, which is me. legally binding through text messages. You're beautiful, her name again, and I'm what you want in a guy, correct? As she said, incorrect, bro. How was it not popped into your head? 
She's got no interest in you. I... Incorrect. Where did he even get that assumption from? I'm exactly what you want in a guy, right? The one who just keeps... A Why would she want a guy who's asking her if she's autistic, who's assuming that she's autistic, who's treated her like shit throughout the entirety of this conversation? The only woman that would want a guy like this guy is probably just for one night stands. They just want to be hookup buddies or whatever the fuck. I don't assume any woman would ever want this guy unless they just want his dick. Which, judging by how he's talking here, it's probably not really that big. Let's Excuse just be me honest. Being autistic? That's what you're looking for, isn't it? No? Well, I guess you have some unresolved childhood trauma then, and you're just a frigid bitch, I suppose. And then he just says, you're joking. You're performing. <laughs> he just, he can't accept. Bro. Stop. Just stop with this, you're joking, you're performing. She has shown throughout the entirety of this goddamn conversation. She doesn't want anything to do with you. Fuck off and go find somebody else. Like, is this what this guy continues to do? Like, for every woman that he talks to? I'm so fucking confused. Be interested in him. You're putting on a teach me a lesson or something stupid lol. I don't for a second believe you. Her name again. What does that mean? You're putting on a teach me a lesson? What? What is that? I, I, I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense. I don't have to date you just because you find me physically attractive. That's like consent 101. Believe what you want. Don't forget. I'm suspicious. Yeah, you are because there's no way you're single. You either have a severe mental disorder or asexual. Bro, a couple messages ago, you explained to her that you could make her life ten times better. And I don't think making a woman ten times better is assuming that they have a severe mental disorder or asexual. Why can't you just leave it alone? Yeah, you are, because there's no way you're single. So what if she isn't? What if she isn't? Like, is this... Would this have been the way you're... Are you trying to steal her from the man that she has? And if she isn't single, hypothetically speaking, maybe she's with a man that doesn't send messages like this to her that isn't, you know, so stuck in the fact that he has to ask her if she's autistic or say you either have a severe mental disorder or asexual. I... And she says, so anyone who's not into you falls under that category, LMAO. Interesting. I love so many things about you. Her name. So he doesn't even address the fact that she said, so anyone who's not into you falls under that category, LMAO, interesting. I am 100% I'm 100 with her on that question. So anyone who's not into you falls under that category. With the way that this man is speaking to her, I wouldn't be surprised if he uses the same exact insults on every other woman that he speaks to. And then he comes down here and says, I love so many things about you blank. So you ask her if she's autistic. You say, I can make your life 10 times better. And then you say, you either have a severe mental disorder or asexual. And then you say, I love so many things about you. Bro, okay, if you're going from insult, compliment, insult, compliment, like, the only thing this guy is at least proving to me is that he just want to get in her pants. That's the, really, the only thing 
that he's proving to me at least like i don't i i i really don't fucking understand this man and i'm sure 110 percent that she does not either name again the way that his mind is able to switch gears is pretty impressive here you must exactly. have a severe mental disorder i love so many things about you schnookums oh sweet pea oh my goodness i just want to cuddle up inside you and let our bodies perform fucking friction on each other till we start a fire with our love genuinely i love you as a friend and i love you as a person i want to make you smile smile emoji you want to make her smile how is asking her if she's autistic and then assuming she has a disorder like how is that how are those two things on top of everything else that you've said is to make her smile Jeep, that's so cringe. Oh, that's so fucking bad. I want to make you smile. Like this. See exhibit A, for example. It's the smiling emoji with a little blush. Oh. He's trying to be mushy here after insulting her, doing nothing but insulting her for the entire, like, two-day conversation. Don't be confused by that face that I just made. I'm reading the rest of the messages on here. Specific, we'll just go through it, and then we'll What's break it down. What's your height, by the way? All of my exes have been 5'9 plus, so taller than you. So why are you not with your exes again then? Why, like... I... You're asking her what her height is. I don't, like... Assuming that this guy is like 6 foot over 6 foot... What does her height have to do with anything here? Does the height of a woman turn you on? Uh, but you have gorgeous eyes and tasty lips for sure. How do you know that she has tasty lips? You literally cannot base a woman off of how her lips look and then just assume that they're tasty. I'm sure this woman's lips don't taste like shit i'm not even going to make any assumption based off of that but like let's just say you assume she has tasty lips like you are here and then let's just say her lips taste like raw fish winky but you have gorgeous eyes and tasty lips for sure you look healthy you make me want to become a daddy. Is he trying to imply on that last part that he wants to get her pregnant or he's got a daddy kink? Like, I don't... You gotta specify that for me. Which he's not going to because he still hasn't come out and actually asked her why she's autistic. And I assume he asked her that question based on the fact She's got no interest in him, so who who the fuck knows? Who took his phone? Who who did he just give his phone to? This can't be the same guy. This is a full blown Jekyll and Hyde. It's it cannot be the fucking same guy. <laughs> Literally, the previous message before he tried this approach was saying that she must have some kind of severe mental disorder or be asexual because she's still yeah. single after two months. Oh boy, Jiminy Christmas. So this is gonna be a shocker. But that's the last time they communicated, at least as of right now. She shared the text messages with the rest of the friend group, and they... That's not really a shocker, at least to me. You know, I'm not really surprised that he got tired of, she got tired of his shit, and just finally decided, you know what, fuck this. I assume she blocked him, um, based off of the fact that Charlie just said those were... The last messages and now that she has shared said messages uh messages with their friend group everybody's gonna know that you're a piece of shit my guy i'm sorry they found him to be extremely obnoxious and creepy so apparently they, they yep. kicked him out and they don't really talk to him yep can't imagine why yeah Seems i'm like not such surprised. a good stable individual i suppose yeah i just wanted to share this a little bit uh if you're going to try and flirt with someone, maybe don't follow this guy's roadmap. Not 
Exactly. If you're going to try and flirt someone, and someone shows that they have zero interest in you, for the love of fuck, just leave them alone. And, you know, maybe they'll be friends with you. Who who knows? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below uh, what other videos you would like to see. I'll leave a link to um, Charlie's video in the description down below. And if you are not subscribed to Charlie yet, yeah, go subscribe to him. Check out his videos. He is amazing. With that being said, I will talk to you all later.